Did you do a little twist and a turn? You know, something about that just... Did, something about that shit ain't sitting right with my heart, though. No. What if they did? What if they did? You know what I mean? They asked for whatever happened. No, I'm sorry. For the girls who did not want to be fucked by Bill, I'm sorry to y'all. But some of those girls wanted to be <laughs> fucked. All I'm saying is, um, I think that most of the culture, you know, like, the people, you know, we feel like Bill's been doing this time, but it, this, this shit has been going on so long. In what about Elvis Presley? Like, you know what I'm Priscilla so, Presley, about 15 years old, she got pregnant. Okay, so that's why it's kind of hard to see, like, you know, Bill well, had to do one. so much time. Well, Bill, I want you out of there. I'm sorry. And to the victims who Bill messed up, I'm sorry to y'all, too. I just was going into the other Gemini. You know, I'm sorry. I yeah. didn't mean to say that to y'all. Yeah, no one should be. Sorry to the victim. Yes, I'm sorry, sorry to the victim. No one should not be fucked under. You know, appeal to under pressure, you know? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. How do you guys feel about unfit parents? And this goes both ways for the fathers and the mothers. How do you all feel about it, Tamika? I mean, unfit parents, like, there are all different types of unfit parents. And mm -hmm. sometimes the best parent or is has been an unfit parent. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on to what level we're going. Because there's degrees out there that's just fucking, you know, Terrible. like you shouldn't even be able to have babies. Those kind of, you know what I'm saying, to that, to that point. Let's check out some clips of some unfit parents, allegedly. Don't blow on it. Come here. Come here. What is that? What is that? 
Who? What is it? <laughs> Bad. Come on, girl. Yeah, that shit. Well, her child to be high already. Man, that that's... child probably yeah. just got free. She probably been smoking a whole fucking nine months. That shit. Yeah, it's like still on that baby high. Did you see? Did you see the girl tongue kissing her baby? No. Man, it's a girl kissing her baby like she kissing a nigga, man. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, damn, bitch, all this shit you be doing with your tongue is what you doing. You putting this shit in your little baby's mouth, and the baby is just kissing her back, but she's like a little seven, eight-month-old baby. Kiss her ass back? Yeah, because she just got her tongue out there. First how she kissing the um the baby's hand and then like she's she sucking the dick. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a dick. Oh my god, mm -hmm. then she going to man, she out of that shame, her motherfucker. Listen, yeah. it ain't that much freaky shit going on in the world. You goddamn tongue kiss your baby. How freaky can you be? That shit, that was just disgusting. That's okay. unfit. That's unfit. That's unfit. You don't do that shit. That's like what do you think about unfit parents? They should have the children. You know, so, for and why they get themselves together. Okay, that's it. I feel like it's just a fucked up situation. Well, I mean, for the unfit mothers, especially, you know, we could help some mothers out there. We could help some, you know, some homes, some kids. So, you know, everybody, make sure y'all tune in and you know, put your comment down on that. You were an unfit parent. You know, it's okay. You know, I want to talk to the mothers for the first time too. My parents, yeah. mothers for the first time. How is that, you know, going into parenting for the first time? I also think it's crazy, like, how some of you mothers, you know what I'm saying, get these boyfriends, and because you be so in love with a man, you'll move them straight in your house or have them around your kids, you know? Like, what do you think is a good timing to have a man around your child? You know, I say, for instance, you've been dating someone for five months. I don't even think five months is enough time to actually have a man coming in, living in your home with your child that he has nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? You're not my dad! I think you should have enough respect for yourself to, like, go get a room, you know, go over his house and then go back home to your child. Your child should not be around different men, you know? Well, for what these days, you can't even trust this man that you bringing in. Like, they be, like, molesters and... Right. You know, they be like just disgusting as people we don't never even, people don't never know. You don't, mm -hmm. you, you just mean their representative in the beginning. So, you know, these are not the people you need to have around the people that you love the most. You know what I'm saying? That you want to protect their life. But that, that's not doing that. Like, you got to keep these people, they got to keep their distance until, like, you really, really know. Know. And then when do you know? And yeah, mm. when do you know? And we're really, we're not trying to offend any of you ladies out there that you know, of course, have had a man around your child on the first date or the second date. It's just also thirsty shit to me. It's like we gotta start trying to change the world every day. It's, the best way we know how. You know what I'm to saying? Me, for me, it's more so being like, don't have them around to where you leave them in, like where no one else is there but them and, and your baby. You know what I'm saying? Or your child, like. Mm. That's too much to me. You know too what I'm saying? If you're there the whole time, if somebody's in there that can watch what's going on and see everything, then, you, okay, cool, maybe, after so long. But just leave, oh, let me go to the store and I'm going to leave my baby here with Jack. Mm -mm. And you just been knowing Jack three months. No, mm -mm. that ain't what's up. Not even really knowing Jack a year. It ain't what's up. Because uh, yeah. you don't know people. You don't. You know? And then I think it's also crazy how... Um, Girls, you know, women, we be so, I don't know what you call it, like, it's not love. You really can't say love because a man already kind of be showing you women, like, who they are. But you would still have that man, baby, you know what I'm saying? Knowing that it was probably a one-night stand, he was just fucking on you, you know? I think it's crazy how you would still go have a baby because you may be like, oh, he's a rapper, he got money, he gonna take care of me forever. Girl, stop, you know, or... I'm just trying to get in his what pocket about, so I can be good forever. I don't, I don't really agree with that. Cause what I, about some of the beliefs, though? Some people may really believe that they wasn't supposed to do that. They ain't supposed to take a life. You know what I'm saying? What about the belief of not even fucking before you're married? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, well, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a real belief. I mean, it's a whole scripture. You know, 
You're not supposed to fuck till you're married. Right, but I mean, a lot of people are doing that. Yeah, but that's a good thing. I've been agreeing. So I wish I could have kept my little stuff titled on there. Yeah. You know? You, you could have. You just did <laughs> Girl, I know you did. I'm saying. I know real. damn well you, you did. You could have. Why you would you say do that? I said I could've. wish I could have. You could have. So why you did? I didn't say I wish I could <laughs> Oh, you didn't wish you could get it? I mean, no. I want to experience something so I could be great for the man I yeah, choose to marry. that man, you ain't supposed to have all those experiences hey, one on one alone. Ain't no hey, man. Hey, man, I'm telling you how I feel uh, about uh, it. Well, I'm telling you how I feel about it. You it's know cool. what I'm saying? You supposed shit. We can agree to disagree. And we can. That's what it's about. But it's wrong. So don't get upset when you be having these little nappy head ass children running around here hitting up the man talking about you need some goddamn child support. You know what I'm saying? When you knew he but was why a hoe. making it seem like it's all her fault? It is her fault. It's her fault. You know, you know a man thinks he, with his, he, a man he thinks with his penis. He knew better than. He knew what? Put all these men think when they did. Fucking without a rubber and then letting it up. He had to do all of that first. Shh. Some of these women go in the toilet stool and get the net out. Man, we ain't talking about them women. I'm talking about the day they fall under the what we're talking about. And then. It's stupid. Oh, I got gas. I don't It had to go. Man, that was disrespect. That was, <laughs> that was so. Oh. It was so, I need to let this shit out. What you want to be able to do? Man. Do you all think that it's cool? Like, and make sure you comment under the bottom uh, below because we're going to be reading these comments. We need to know y'all opinions as well, okay? Definitely. So, what's going on out there? Come in at the bottom. You can disagree, it's okay. Are you going to agree? It's cool too. But do you think it's cool that women go after these men? You know what I'm saying? Who have all this money or fame or whatever you call it. Get pregnant by them and get pregnant on purpose. And then, you know, like, expects the world back from that. Like, do you agree? Do you think it's right or do you think it's wrong? Let me ask you. Do you think I it's right or do you think it's wrong? all on the woman. It's everybody's. It's everybody's, but I'm asking, um, do it matters? Like, for women right now, we're trying to get their responsibility but to both to not let <laughs> that happen. But and we are trying to motivate our don't women of the world. Like that, he shouldn't even be trying to do those type of things. He shouldn't be, but we are trying and to so represent everybody. We're trying to make our women smarter, yes. though. Everybody is responsible, but okay. right now we're trying to make them smart. Same about a man. The men already man, got their coat. We're trying to help us. Man, these women, these, but these women already be infatuated with this man already. So they already thinking, damn, I want to hand this nigga, baby. So you give them the opportunity, what you think they going to be on? If they over there fucking you already like that. That's what they, what? Well, in my opinion, you already don't supposed to be fucking. You need to put on the rope. Because at the end of the day, I would yeah, not want to go. I don't want to go through that shit in life. Like, I done had your whole motherfucking bastard ass child, and then you want to drag me. Fuck that. So, all I'm trying to do is tell y'all something for the wise. You know, if you put your mind to it, you can have just as much money as a rapper, an artist, a singer, a dancer, an actor. You know, if you put your mind to really what you want to do. You could yeah, be riding around just like them, bigger than that. You, you can put be your doing mind to all it. that shit, but guess what, niggas? Don't be out there fucking with no rubber. Nothing in these hoes. And we can just solve a lot of that shit like that. Yes, and y'all niggas do need to start having unprotected sex. It's a little too much. Y'all out here fucking everything raw. What's wrong with you? You fucking the ape raw, the monkey raw, the goddamn lizard raw. You don't give a fuck. Damn. Man. Wait, everybody look like something. I look like a monkey. I'm cool with it. Girl, fuck you. One conclusion that I just stated about stop fucking for a man's car. Like, so what? Because that man got a car. You can go fuck. You can go work and get your own motherfucking car. What if she just want to have sex? She don't want to do it with, with somebody who ain't got no car. That's not what I'm saying. Tim. You walking around and ass in. You don't even know. Just saying, what you okay, so do you think it's cool that these bitches be running around here fucking rappers trying to get what they got? Like, saving is they trying to get pregnant for a rapper. And this, this, and that, they want to throw all this on them when they know these people be having families, all kind of stuff going on. I'm saying when they get pregnant, if they get pregnant and they start going to I think the laws of reciprocity are in you order. You always come to love. No, but hear me out. What I'm just saying is the laws of reciprocity are in order. So if she has ill will or, 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 or a horrible agenda, right, mm -hmm. then karma going to see she's going to catch the corona. It should be called the karma virus. Oh.
So she kind of, I was reading that, you know, people are kind of tripping that no one's saying anything about studs dressing like men. But, you know, when a man dressed like a woman, you know, it's a big problem. It is. It's a big deal. It's a big deal because, you know, it's just crazy this day and time of how, you know, no shade. But men are taking over our swag. They wear oh, man yeah. bags. They got the little heels, you know, the certain shoes, got a little heel on it. Them little tight ass pants. That's you know, true. they took over our community now. That's but true. You want to know about the women. Right. People don't talk about the women, how they do the men. Because nope. we've been wearing, you know, the big baggy clothes looking kind of manly ish. You know, since nineties, you know what I'm saying? It was a it was a, it thing. Was a thing to do. But yeah. now um I it's really not fair though. It's really not fair for a woman to be able to wear, you know, men clothes and no one says anything about them, period. You know what I'm saying? But if a man it should be able to be both. Like you know, it should be able to be vice versa. So I guess we just people should start talk, stop talking about men and women clothes if they're not gonna speak about Women wear the men clothes. I think it's just so bold, though. I think that's why it's probably more talked about because when a man dresses like a woman, it's usually like makeup and you know the whole nine, and maybe hair. But and women shit. are so, now having beards and mustaches. Okay, and so I didn't, I ain't really seen that. Oh yeah, well, that's what's going on. They have all the male things that a male has, so it's like. It's, you know, they have a point. I can see that. I, I can see why they kind of upset and bringing, you know, controversy to this. Because it's like, damn, a woman can do this shit. She can dress just like a dude. Y'all, you don't say nothing to her at all. But when a man do it, it's such a big deal. So, I mean, it works both ways. Let me ask you a question. This is a serious question. Do you think it's unfair to the woman that was born a woman that certain products that are made for women only for women, are taking off, like, taking away the symbol because they say it represents femininity, like a woman or, or like a full woman, like born a woman. Mm -hmm. So do you think that's fair to the real born gender female? No. But in, the, in this life, it's a lot of stuff that's not fair to a woman these days. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I just think that we shouldn't deminimize you know, a woman because a woman, a real woman, to do so much right for life. Right. A transgender woman would never have a period, you know? So I don't think that that should have ever been an issue. Yeah, I just think we should be fair to everybody because we, you know, it, it's a lot of fighting going on for everybody out there, you know, in the gay world or the transgender world or, you know, and I just, and and, you know, for all the different um, sex preferences. Or right, like, but it's right. really unfair because it seems like a man wins all the way around. I mean, it's a man's world. This is a man's world. A man wins everything. Like, he does. Like, Stand up. A man can like probably fuck something. A man is fucking these women men better than the woman is. You know, like. Oh you know, like. When it comes to these topics, it just gets so deep, you know? Yeah. Because we love the transgender community. Don't ever get it twisted, girl. Yes. I love you. We love you. We love the gay community. Of course. We love you. We down for you. You know what I'm saying? And But it is topics in the world that people do want to know about. And no one should get offended about this because we're grown. We all have a grown conversation. I just think it should be a fair, you know, fair all around for everybody, you know. And that's just my and way. She's right. Thinking. She's right, y'all. Right. Yeah, I gotta um, agree with her on this. She's right. You and, know, um, it should have never been took off in the store on a woman's feminine. It's not fair to you know. It's not fair, you know, that we've been dealing, we've been having this all this time, and because you know we're fighting for one thing, y'all take away from, you know. The, and, the the female and friend, they don't know what we go through when we have to bleed in our, our menstrual time and how depressing it could be and how stressful yeah, it is. Sure they hear stressful. about it, but they don't have to feel they it. Don't they don't have to feel it. it. You don't know it. It's emotional. It's an emotional 
roller coaster for women when they're on their cycle, and you know, and you all should thank yourself. God you don't have to go through nothing like yeah, that. So y'all skip that good part. Thank God you don't have to go through that because those cramps, you know, your cycle come on, you can kill a bitch. And that's real shit. So yeah, I get all emotional and shit. I cry a lot when my cycle coming out. What about you? Thing. You do what? Do you cry any when your cycle coming out? I be crying. So I get, I, so I get upset. No, I can tell when my cycle coming out two or three days. You know, fuck, I'm a bitch. I do. I, I think I, you you pointed that out to me that I could be very. Bitchy. Oh, why do I be like you can't? And you'll be like, your cycle about to come on. I'll be like, I don't know why. And then next day I know my cycle's about to come on because I never know when my cycle's gonna come on. I just. Probably, you know, I'm just now really figuring it out. Like, but she, I, I should have no business basis. that's honey. You know, she get bitch mode once I come out. Uh. She's a bitch. I can tell two or three days we better ride each other. She go to ask somebody else. So I didn't mean to ask you that. But I get emotional. She get cranky. And I get cranky sometimes too. It all depends on what mood I'm in, you know? Mm. But it's deep. You know, just thank God y'all don't have to go through that, you know? That wow. cycle shit ain't nothing to play with, but I do feel like we feel like we deserve our rights with, you know, tampons, paddings, whatever it is. But you don't have to go through that. You yeah, know, well, we love y'all all, so you yeah, know, we love y'all. That's you I know. don't know what the hell we would do without y'all. Keep it lightweight. Keep it lightweight. And um, yeah, man, ain't you tired, man? I am. It's a little late. Y'all know we have a late night um situation going on, and. I'm tired. Yeah. She's tired. You know, but we're going to visit this again tomorrow. I still feel like we got a little more in us, though. Girl, you full of shit. <laughs> she ain't got no more. Well, I feel like we got a little more in this us. This is about to be a hard cut. This girl got to get a massage. I got to get a massage. You know what I'm saying? After that, you know, it's just a lot. And we're doing this for you. You know? Yeah, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. Whenever we say we're going live, man, because we want to hear from y'all. We want y'all to be a part of what we got going on. We're going to have call-ins, so you can call in and give us your opinion on whatever's going on. Give us, a look, give us a little time. It's coming. Yeah, you know. We already, we're trying to get this set together for y'all. We It's Y'all going to see it grow. Y'all going to see it grow, so you be a part of the process, boo. Because that's what it's about, bro. You know, in life, it's about seeing things grow. That's what makes you all interested in a lot of things that you all pay attention to these days because you see the growth. So we want you to see the Tiny Joe show starting off in the beginning and as it grow. You know what I'm saying? It's something very, very big. And all our believers, thank you for believing in us, keeping us encouraged. Because if it were for y'all, we wouldn't even be sitting here doing this today. Man, actually, we do it for y'all because we feel like you know, everybody needs a little laughter, and then, you know, if we can make y'all laugh, if we're doing something that we love, then shit, why not? And then we all get a win-win. Y'all get what y'all want, because y'all been asking to see me and Tiny, and here we go. And, you know, we get what we want. I love to talk. Do you love to talk? Not really. She you know full of shit. She's really a damn really liar. Y'all, I be on the phone. I'll... She is a liar. Why are you saying the same? Why are you saying the same? You don't like to talk. I don't not, not like that. Line. She can talk. That's something that she's going to be able to see in this show that we got. We're going to be able to see the top of the time. Y'all know we had a quick walkthrough from my husband, T.I. Uh, tip. I call it Tip for that. Um, Y'all know we had a oh, quick walkthrough from my hubby, Tip. Well, y'all, it's been real, man. We had a good time with y'all tonight. And, you know, uh, we'll be back. We're kicking it with y'all. We ain't going nowhere. So y'all make sure y'all tune in. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the Tiny Joe Show. You know, we're going to let you know. <laughs> That's on that. It's just nowhere around it. we going to let you know. <laughs> and don't forget to put your comments down below. Because we want to know what you're thinking at home. Your opinions count. And they matter. On the Tiny Joe Show. And that's on me. Make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all subscribe to the Tiny Joe Show. Period. Like and most importantly, make sure you hit the bell. The bell. The bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> See you all soon.